it's Pete here and I'm back for a weekly free instant tournament. This is an 8 board BBO tournament that you can play by going solitaire and then weekly free instant tournament. So give it a shot if you haven't already. And today I wanted to focus on trying to get inside the opponent's head and think what what are they trying to achieve? And in particular focusing on their lead choices. So let's see how we go uh, with that in mind. Anyway, we've got 15 points in a triple four one. So I'll start with one spade. Partner just bid two hearts, so I'll try three no trumps. So after I do this, I'm sort of just expecting a minor suit lead um, from West. So if I don't get that, that'll be particularly interesting. I don't have much of an incentive between clubs or diamonds, which one I'd actually choose. But West definitely went a passive lead here. Now, I know the robots really like passive leads. Um, but when would a passive lead be really good is if hearts weren't breaking. Um, anyway, uh, let's count our winners. I've got four diamond winners, a club, and a spade is six. I want to try and work on hearts. And to me, this just looks like finessing the jack of hearts. I just want to win the first trick in my hand and play a heart towards the ten. Um, that'll work any time West has... Singleton Jack, Doubleton Jack, Jack Third, or in Hearts. Um, and I should be able to set up the Heart Suit for four winners the vast majority of the time. Uh, five winners would be really, really good. If I do this and I play a Heart towards the ten, what can the opponents then do back to me? I think the worst thing each could do is push a Spade through, in which case I could play low and that could go to West who could then play a club through, and I'd have to misguess the clubs. West already hasn't led a club already, um, and if they had three little clubs and three little diamonds, then um, they might have chosen either one. So it's more likely that they've got an honor in clubs and just wanted a passive lead. Okay, so let's just uh, play a heart towards the 10. Okay, and that part worked. Now for some discards. Um, West can't attack spades properly, so let's let go one spade. And I'll win the ace of diamonds. Firstly, it shouldn't hide the position, but it leaves flexibility for me to overtake. So now they continued another diamond. So why would they do that? Why wouldn't they switch? They, they know that heart suit's still probably set up, but they don't know how many entries I've got. Um, but they probably should know now because I wouldn't be doing that. Anyway, West still gets uh, two heart tricks here. We'll let go of club. And now another one. Okay, so we're going to get four hearts, four diamonds, and our two aces. Okay, so diamonds broke, and I get to throw away two cards, which looks like I'm going to throw away my two little black cards and then take a spade finesse because there's no risk of them being able to do anything more. So this looks like 10 or 11 tricks. Yeah, and we get uh, 11. So, why did West never switch to clubs? Because they've got the key in clubs. Yeah. If they didn't have that, then they might have been able to afford to do do that. Uh, but they knew that they could would be giving up a club trick all the time, so they didn't do that. They didn't realise that they would be putting me to a guess. Some people only made ten tricks, and some only made nine. Let's just have a quick look at how some people played it. Diamond lead, and they let that one, and now King of Hearts out. Another diamond, they won, and they didn't. They blocked up the diamond suit, so it was really key to make sure that we got three entries, or at least two entries to the north hand. But after I've played one heart, so the, the play at trick one there was critical for untangling the uh, diamond suit for multiple entries to keep the heart suit uh, going. All right, board number two. Uh, this time we got a 13 count, 5-3-3-2. Three, three, Pass from east, I'll start with one heart. 
and just bid one no trump. Two no trumps, invitational? Yeah. And um, maximum, I've got 13 high card points, one for a length point, 14. So let's just give three no trumps a go. And see what we can do. Queen of Spades lead. Okay, so if I think about what lead I would be expecting from West, again, I would expect a minor suit lead. So when they lead a spade here, they should have really good spades. So ace fourth there. And I've got two spade winners, a diamond winners three, a heart winners four. If the hearts come in for hearts three three with the king on side, I still need more tricks. So it looks like working on the clubs is good. But I think I want to play like a club to the king and then take a heart finesse. I've got, uh, I can finesse either player here. And just wondering whether I should duck the first spade. So West didn't overcall one spade, so spades probably aren't 5-2. And if they are, West probably doesn't have a good hand. So I don't think I'm going to get much value out of ducking here. Queen, small 9. Okay, another option that when West would lead a spade here is when they've got short spades and East has length in spades. It would be very odd for East to put the 9 of spades in from that sort of holding. So it looks now like West does have length in spades because the 9 is a really valuable card. West might have 6 spades to the Queen Jack 10 and like nothing else. My partner's got 12 points opposite my 13, 25, 15 missing. So if I gave West 3, East could have 12, but no, that would need something more. Uh, but I've now got potential third stopper because I'm just missing Jack 10 of spades. And if West has both of them, I'm actually okay with that after I see the 9 appear. Okay, so club to the king, which won? Heart to the queen, which won? Now, trying to work out, could my opponents have ducked here? Firstly, if I was east, I would not be ducking a club towards the king. I'd be winning, presumably playing back another, um, another spade for my partner, although that might give up the spade position. Uh, so I think West probably does have the Ace of Clubs, which does confuse me about what's actually going on here. But I'm going to try and lead another low club towards the Jack. And the reason being is if West has double to Ace of Clubs, we'll now see that appear. Ah, Ace did duck. Okay. So we've seen East duck the club. And they've now set up their tenor clubs. So I've got two club tricks and two heart tricks is four, two spades is six, a diamond seven. If I play a spade up and duck it, uh, West can win. And lead a diamond through, which East can win. And they can cash their club. But I think that's about it. Okay, so they split, so I can afford to win that. Alright. I could, by force, set up another spade trick. Is that good enough for me? So if I play a spade here, then I'll be able to get three spade tricks, two club tricks, two heart tricks and a diamond. And if the heart finesse was working, I'm actually all okay at the moment. So here, I'm going to play a spade and just give up a pitch of diamond. That is not a testing uh, switch there, so we'll catch the uh, heart. And we're, we're making 10 tricks now. No, 9 tricks. I don't think I played that the best. There was probably room for improvement. Um, East ducking with the uh, Ace of Clubs was certainly interesting. Um, East putting the Nine of Spades in was actually a really bad card because it set up a second stopper there. 
So they they definitely messed that up. And paying attention to uh, the pips was really interesting um, for working it out. And I thought East would win the club and continue a spade. But when I think about it, after they've thrown away the nine of spades, it doesn't really make sense. If they ducked, if they played a low spade the first time, then when getting in with the ace of clubs, they might. Then, if I let a club up, they wouldn't actually do that. Uh, lots of people in two no trumps. This hand is definitely a maximum hand for a one no trump rebid. So I think I, you should definitely accept it. Uh, and most people making nine tricks anyway. A couple of people went down in three no trumps. Can it be beaten though? No. Can always be, make ten tricks in fact. So if I guess the club suit, work on hearts properly. Uh, the diamonds are split, so no one can really tackle diamonds, but could make it, but uh, still very happy. 96% in equal first spot, two boards in. Let's see what we can do on the next one. Flat 12 cannon, a really ugly one, except that we've got five card diamonds. So a diamond pass, a heart, a spade. I could bid one no trump here, or I could actually just pass. Just no suitable call. I don't want to really encourage my partner. So just pass here. Looks like they've probably got longer clubs, so... No? No? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with a takeout double in this spot. I would have thought a takeout double would work pretty well on this sort of style hand. Um, but here we are in three clubs where if I bid a no trump, I might end up in... Three no trump, or two no trump, or defending two spades, where I've probably got two spade winners, club and a heart, and two clubs, two clubs, two spades and a heart. Not too sure. Um, anyway, uh, I basically want to play this one as if it's in no trumps. I've got, I uh, like. I've got a spade loser, three hearts, a diamond loser. If that club finesse is working, I want to draw trumps and then just knock out the ace of diamonds. Okay, clubs are breaking, that's good news. And let's just knock out... Okay, they took the diamond. I was worried that they might hold it up a little bit. And now they switched, uh, and I'll be able to throw two hearts away, but I'll still have a heart and a spade to lose. Th this won't be a good score, by the way, at any at any rate, um, because we're in the wrong spot. No trumps definitely plays fine, uh, and we're just going to let go of a couple of hearts. Give up a spade, the ace is on side, they get a heart trick still. Uh, but making 10. And an abysmal result, I would guess. No, 35%, still bad. Uh, three clubs plus one. So some people got to three no trumps if they bid one no trump. Their partner just jumps to three no trumps, which I think is a practical bid. Uh, because you don't need to bid one no trump on these sorts of hands. Um, there was just like a rubbish 12 count. Defending was like okay. It was all queens and jacks, so I didn't actually want to be in three no trumps on this hand. Um, but like the club finesse works and the spades on side. The double spade stopper probably makes it okay to do it. But as you can see, some people just passed here, uh, which I think is like <laughs> it, it's the wrong choice, but it sort of illustrates my point that I don't like this hand. And passing over in this spot here doesn't prevent us from uh, still reaching no trumps. Like, my partner could make takeout doubles and things like that if they knew how to make takeout doubles. Um, but yeah, 35% uh, for three clubs making 10. I'll take it. I knew it was going to be a bad score. Uh, whew. Uh, 17 highs, 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to start with a Michael's Cubid and then bid again. So I'll start with two spades. Just raise this to four. I don't really, like, 
I don't need much from my partner at all. Like, this might be enough. A, a diamond trick. So we might have a spade, a diamond, and a club to lose. Um, right. So... They are going to force us, so... Just thinking, if it goes spade, spade, and I rough, and I go club, 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 and I play spade, and I rough. If I draw trumps at this stage, that's scary. Um, what about... Okay, so let's just see what my opponents do first up. I've only got three sort of unavoidable losers. The spade, the diamond, and the club. Okay, they, they didn't force me, so not the scariest defense. Okay, I'm at 8-1. They didn't even want to put in the uh, 10. So let's just knock out this top diamond. Um... Club to the ace. I was thinking of a heart to the jack and a club up. So, the reason that I want to do this... Oh, they're 4-1. So, them continuing... If they continued uh, spades, I'd probably be in trouble here. And East has five spades and four hearts, so they've only got four minor suit cards. So, trying to work out what I can do if. Um, did East follow with the ten of clubs at the start? I'm not sure. Uh, if I play a diamond, if East trumps in, then clubs are breaking. If East throws a club, it's still fine. So we'll just draw the trump, king of clubs, and give up a club. So I didn't really need to find out how the suit was breaking by catching the uh, top diamond, but it's kind of useful. Like, I might have had some more options. Uh, so let's just uh, bring that one up. So 92% for four hearts making. I, I really didn't do much on that one. Um... So I'm just down if they continue a spade. So top spade, and if they just keep working on spades, I'm just down. Um, so a couple other people did the same. Uh, some people went down a lot. So let's just see how they lost control of the hand. They start with a double uh, to show a strong hand, which is the usual way that you can show strong hands. But with a Michael's Cubid or an unusual Tuna Trumps, you can bid that and then bid again. Um, this hand was sort of way too good for just bidding two hearts. Um, Michael's Cubid is usually a weak bid, but not always. So here they then drew two rounds of Trumps. Then the Ace of Clubs, King of Clubs. East did follow with the 10. They gave up a club there. Aren't they just making it this stage? Yeah. So, I'll, I'll stop looking at it. So you should be making 10 tricks here if the opponents don't, don't go ace-king of spades. The opponents really, really should go ace-king of spades. So when they didn't, I actually thought hearts were breaking. Should be fairly evident to east what's going on here. If they force me to rough, I'm at parity. And if they have a club loser, I'm going to go down. It's basically as simple as that. They really should be able to spot that defense. But I'll take my 92%. And I'm in rank 1, running at 77. So moving on to board number 5. Another 5-5 five, five shape. Um, this time I don't get to do a strong Michaels. I've got 14 highs, but the opponents aren't bidding. So I'll just start with 1 spade, 3 clubs, 3 spades. Not interested in slam, so we'll just bid 4 spades. 
Okay, Ace of Diamonds is a good card. The Queen Jack of Clubs are useless cards. Um, okay, so I have a club loser, and I have two spade losers, and I have a, like a heart rough incoming. So I really want them not to get the heart rough. So how to actually avoid that? If I lead a low spade towards the jack, East will win, and with most sensibility, we'll just return a heart. So I really want West to win the first spade. So the best way to actually try and do this is to cross to the north hand to lead a spade from the north hand. If East has Ace third or um, holdings like that, it's kind of really awkward for them to fly with their honor to give their partner a heart rough. So, because I, I want to make it as difficult as possible for the east hand, I want to get to the north hand to lead a, a spade up. Um, other things, west didn't lead a club, which they might do from the ace king. And I also want to hide the fact that I don't actually care or have any heart losers. Let's just try and force this out, which I might do from certain different holdings. And we'll just win the king. The ace or the king, I think, is okay. So diamond up, and now just lead a low spade. Okay. West in with the ace of spades. And... Hmm. Again, East is now going to get in probably with the ace of clubs and give their partner a rough. So... I want to make a club look appealing. Ooh, diamond! That, that worked well. Another spade, and I wanted to put the jack of spades on it. Um, I knew the jack eight were equals, but uh, just for sort of hiding what's going on. And now we are all good. Oh, West didn't even have a singleton. Just trying to get into their head, assume they had a singleton. Didn't, almost lost a diamond rough, but that would have been quite strange. I uh, would have never expected West to have a singleton diamond and not a short heart. So 57% there, really, really flat board. Few people not bidding it, few people getting excited. Well, one person not bidding it, one person getting excited. Other than that, really, really simple. Some people opened hearts, which is odd. They're just opening their better suit. I don't like that at all. You want to open the higher ranking of 5-5 five, five suits. Three boards to go in rank 1 at 73%. This is, this is going well. I'm, I'm liking it so far. And we're just picking up monster after monster. Uh, 18 high is 5-4 shape. So I'll start with one heart and reopen with a double. Hopefully my partner makes a trap pass. They don't. They have a really weak hand. And by really weak hand, I mean... Really, really weak hand. So we're going to leave it here in two spades. They don't like my hearts. They didn't want to make a negative double themselves. And they didn't want to pass out two diamonds. My partner has a very weak hand. So let's just let this go. And try and play two spades. Okay, so my partner had three hearts and five spades. They probably know we've got two fits. Um... Still might have been worthwhile considering playing in hearts anyway. Uh, but here we are. So my partner's got five points opposite my... 17? 18? Opposite my 18. So five opposite 18 is 23. Uh, 17 missing. West has the majority of these. Four of diamonds lead. This is a very normal lead. So when I try and interpret the opponent's leads... The diamond lead is an expected lead. It doesn't give much away. But if East chose not to lead a diamond, that would be a very revealing lead. And that there are certain reasons that they may or may not choose to do that. Um, but that's the time that you can really get into it and pick a lot about the hand when the opponents do something unusual. So diamond to the ace. Now they switch to the king of clubs, which is probably ace king. Okay, 
Um, so at this stage, I was thinking of trumping a diamond, cashing the ace king of spades, and then trying to trump a club back to hand. Uh, if that, I can then. I want to cash one top hard as well. So the reason for this, so cash ace king of spades. I feel like West is the one with. West is the one with the third club, not the fourth. But just cash that. Protect against stiff. Okay. Um, that's annoying. So West has two spades, probably six diamonds. I feel like the heart's on side. If I trump, I'll get over roughed. Uh, so let's just let go of diamond. And we get to draw the trump. East showed up with the queen of diamonds and let go of a heart here. If they let go of the queen of diamonds. Alright, so trying to work out why east. Okay. Does West have, so there's two sort of possible shapes West has. Either I got like a singleton heart, two diamonds, six, sorry, singleton heart, two spades, six diamonds and four clubs. Or they've got two diamonds, two hearts, sorry, two spades, two hearts, five diamonds and four clubs. And I could drop the doubleton queen of hearts or I can um, go from there. Uh, so, working out what's going on, does West have the 2254 shape? And for that, they could have had two little spades, queen doubleton heart, uh, ace fifth diamond. Did they really overcall ace fifth diamond? And ace king ten fourth club. So, that would have given them 13 high card points with a 2 2. Uh, five four shape, or otherwise they have um, two little singleton ace to six ace king to four. I'd be much more willing to overcall two diamonds on that second option, which would suggest finessing a heart. Something else that I want to look at here is east discard. When I played a club east and threw away a diamond because I knew that east could over rough me. East didn't throw a diamond as well. East could have thrown a diamond, which would have set up for a trump promotion if they only had three diamonds. So instead they threw a heart. So what you have to judge from that is they wanted their partner to exit a heart and lock me in my hand. Um, if they did that, it would have gone king of hearts, jack of hearts, and I'd actually get to trump, it, trump in. So I'm actually going to base my play here on the defense, like East defensive choice here, on not throwing the Queen of Diamonds away, which would have set up for a Trump promotion if they did that. And I, I reckon the robots are much better at that. The other option is working out the defense, and would West overcall on Ace Empty Fifth Diamond and a 13 count? I personally wouldn't do that. The robots might, though. Um, in which case, I'm going to try and drop the doubleton queen of hearts. It worked! 75%. <laughs> uh, so I just had conflicting ideas and had to judge the reasons of the opponents. And which, when in doubt, I usually like to rely on the most recent one, which was the defensive card from East, which looked really obvious that they should... Um, throw a diamond away. Another consideration is if East had the Queen of Hearts, maybe they would have raised the three diamonds. Didn't mention that one, but uh, another possible reason for dropping the uh, doubleton Queen of Hearts. But two spades plus one. Uh, some people in three hearts because they just bit it really poorly. This is a classic takeout double. I, I don't know why you wouldn't make a takeout double. Your partner could have a huge stack of diamonds and wanting to pass them. Um, it's not that likely when you got a singleton king, but bring partner into the picture seemed like a good idea. Uh, but partner wanted to bid their spades rather than their hearts. 
Um, so there we were. Three hearts can make ten tricks. Spades. We've got two fits. Uh, spades can only make nine. So I made my nine tricks, so I'm happy about that. I feel like I gave the opponents a chance that they might not necessarily could have taken. Like I could have gone ace, king, jack of hearts. They still get a trump promotion. Oh, I can just draw trumps and <laughs> I can just bang down the ace, king of hearts. And, yeah. I could have made ten tricks if I would played for Dalton queen of hearts from the start. But I didn't have that much of a read. I thought that uh, West probably had the uh, third only three clubs, but one thing that I could have uh, inferred from is where the ten of clubs was. So here it went low club to the jack. East with jack ten uh, probably would play the ten. Not sure if the robots are super consistent on that though. But, uh, that was hand number six. Seventy-five percent on that board, running at seventy-three point eight. It's going really well. Moving on to board number seven. And the monsters keep coming. 14, 17 highs, 4 triple 3. We'll start with a 1 no trump, 3 no trump from my partner. And what do we have? Heart lead. So I would definitely expect a major suit lead on this sort of auction. 1 no trump past 3 no trump because Dummy has denied having a major. So uh, leading a major is usually a good idea on this. So if West led a minor, that would be quite revealing about their hand. Anyway, um, we've got a lot of points, but we don't have that many tricks. We've got three hearts, four diamonds, and the ace of spades. Yet my partner's got 11 points opposite my 17, so 28 points. Um, yeah. I want to try and find out who has the jack of hearts, so I'll stick in the 10. So it looks like West led something passive. And I'm just going to start by caching my diamonds, find out a bit more information. So Doubleton Diamond there, and West let go of Spade, and now a Heart. Okay, so West led from a four card Heart suit, because East also discarded one. So they had four Hearts and two Spades. Four hearts and two diamonds. So I could go ace of spades, spade up. I could go a low spade towards the nine. I could lead a low spade and see if West hops in with the king. Um, my hope is that East discarded from a four-card spade suit, because West had four little hearts, and if they had four hearts and four spades, they might have chosen to discard, uh, lead a spade. So hopefully West has... Um, so hopefully West has four clubs, and if East has four spades and discarded a spade, I'm now absolutely cold. So a couple of options. Low spade, see what happens. See if west flies. I could go ace of spades, spade. Don't really see much advantage in that. Ace of spades protects us against a singleton king. So I'm just going to lead a low spade and see what happens. Okay. We'll just cash our spades. So west... I think West's, did West throw away a spade? Yeah, they did. Uh, so all the spades are cleared. And it looks like I've got th three club losers now. Uh, maybe one hand's got both the ace-king. Looks like East has both the ace-king and clubs. Uh, so that was remarkably friendly. From a hand where I might have been going down uh, to ten <laughs> tricks. Uh, some people only made nine. Um, but yeah, Queen, Ace, King of Spades is on side, Ace, King of Clubs in one hand. Really, really couldn't go down, and West and East threw away from their long suits as well to make sure that we definitely were making an extra trick. They, that was not a testing defense there. But yeah, so West shape 3-4-2-4 four, four was right. 
Um, they might have led a spade if they had a fourth spade, was basically the reasoning there that uh, behind that. Lucky last board, uh, running at 75.5% in rank one. One board to play. Hopefully we can finish strong. Uh, pass, pass, one no trump. So here we've got 16 highs. So I could double. And I think I've got the aces. I've got, got control of this hand. I'm going to double here. Partner doesn't like that. So I could bid two diamonds here. Or I could pass. Um, they've got at least five clubs, supposedly. I, I don't think they necessarily do have five clubs, but I'll pass. I looked at the description of... <laughs> I looked at the description of two diamonds and it showed four plus diamonds, 19 plus points. Decided let's not uh, give that a shot. So instead, pass. Now West came in, and now I was like, "Yes, come on, let's bid some more." Um, not really what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Would have liked to defend two diamonds doubled. Um, so here, two spades. Um, well, I'm not doubling. My partner didn't have much interest in that, but it looks like a misfitting hand. So I'm going to pass and lead trumps here. So just lead a low trump, lead a low... Okay, fine. Have it your way. Three sp... Oh my god. <laughs> this is not how I was expecting the auction to go from here. Um, so my partner's got zero to four points. Uh, this still looks like a really misfitting hand. I've got six clubs, four hearts... Um, if I lead trumps, do I necessarily have enough tricks to beat this? No. So, I'll take the low road, I'll pass, but... <laughs> what is going on? But yeah, so here West has diamonds and spades. I've got diamonds as well. East has some spades, probably a five card spade suit. Although it says four or five. They might have bid two spades over the top, but... They don't know what's going on. So, just cut down on their roughs. Okay, so, partner followed with a spade. And jack of clubs. East could have king, queen, jack. Um, or queen, jack, ten. The robots tend not to try and false card you, but my partner could also have a singleton. So, let's just hop in there. A uh, singleton spade. And I just want to go ace of spades and a spade. Okay, so East only had a four card spade suit. Okay. Club rough. So East is down to one trump here. So diamond to the ace and a diamond. So it turns out if I led diamonds, that might have been okay. Um, they still won't have enough tricks if I duck this. So let's just put in the eight of diamonds. They kind of have to give me a diamond trick anyway. Okay, so... Um, let's win that. I've still only got one trump, so East, I had 16 points. Um, so if East has the king of hearts, I've got ace of diamonds, king, queen of spades. Um, maybe I had to, no, if I played a low diamond, they would have stuck in like the seven. But I've now set up a finesse position for that. Um, if I play a low heart, then I go small heart, 10. Maybe I need my partner to have the king of hearts. It seems like a bit of a far-fetched idea. 
Um, I can't see a way to beat this, so... Uh, does a low heart ever cost? Maybe. So, making three. 39%, but finished in rank number one. Um, some people let them play one no trump, which made. Um, which, when I was going to lead diamonds, definitely would. But I had their bid there at a 2, 4, 1, 6. So I finished with 70%. Uh, so pretty happy all up. Uh, nearly 71%. Was there anything I could have done? I had to lead a diamond. So if I lead a diamond, get in with the ace of spades, lead another diamond, gives my partner a rough. And what we can do then is they still need to set up the diamonds for a bunch of discards. Because after I give my partner a rough, we can try drawing trumps on them. Um, but basically, I'll score my four tricks. But uh, good news is I wasn't this player here who doubled three spades. Let it make. That was definitely the weirdest auction I have seen in... I wouldn't say ever. I've seen some really special auctions, but that was quite up there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the weekly free instant tournament, uh, where I sort of focused a bit more on what the opponents were trying to do. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.